I'm in procurement sourcing here. Let's have a look at the purchasing policy and a specific rule called the requisition control rule. So I'm going to go into purchasing policies and my procurement policy here. And so I've got one here which is called purchase requisition control rule. Now you'll see that I've got a few different changes here. If I take the top one, because this is the current one that's in effect, um, you'll see that these are the rules in, pl in uh, play. So you'll see, for example, the workflow submission fields. Um, you've got an option there that says that these fields are not required, but you can't actually change these. Um, you need to change the rule. So we'll come back and see how we change the uh, the rule or put a new one in place. So if you've got a few different fields that you could enforce, which is unit price, vendor account, project reason, uh, receiving operating unit purchase agreement so you can control those. You can also control whether the uh, max min quantities are enforced. These are set up from the item. Um, you can control uh, what's the date effect and what delivery address is used. So these, these are the different rules that you can apply. So if we want to change those we need to uh, retire the existing policy and then we'll create a new policy which will set the defaults. So I can change them up until, I up until the point of closing the window um, and then they'll be in effect. So you'll see for example let's say I want to enforce a reason code. So I'm going to go and change the rule to say that a reason code is required. So once I close this out, uh, that policy is now in effect and if I open it up, um, I can't change this until we retire the policy and um, add it back in again. So let's go and have a look how this works and how that comes into play. I'm going to go across to the uh, purchase requisitions because this is for the purchase rec. Um, I'm going to create a new purchase requisition we'll make it consumption and we'll go and add uh, a line look at the details on it and so um, we can see here we could pick that it's a category line and I can put eaches I want one of them I can put a product um, for the service because it's cleaning in this particular case so I'm going to fill in the normal details so if we scroll down we'll see that we have a business justification which is a reason okay so if I try to save this um, I can save that uh, without the reason but um, let's go and submit it to the workflow and see what effect that we have if we don't specify a reason because it's required now in the policy so if we come down this is the purchase requisition that we put in um, I'm going to submit that and you'll see that when we try to submit it it says the reason must be specified before you can submit so that's the policy in effect there um, that it's going to need to have that so let's go and edit it I'll put it in edit mode and then we'll change the details and then we'll specify a reason code and we can put some details so now it's finished if I hit submit it's going to allow me to submit it to workflow so that's the effect of the procurement purchasing policies uh, specifically the purchase requisition control rule um, and the one change that we made in this particular case was making the reason code required. Um, so that's a, a quick walkthrough purchase requisition control rule.